Hey there, Iron Toast here. Halls of Healing are on, and the question is, should you even bother doing it? <laughs> Alright, so Halls of Healing is on, and the question is, is it actually worth your time to run this quest? So the strict answer to the question based on energy cost is yes, of course it is, because it doesn't take any energy to run them. There's easy, medium, hard, there's three paths each, and if you complete them all, you get uh, the full rewards for each thing. Um, <clears throat> I haven't run them yet, and that's because I'm waiting on a specific uh, quest to maybe come out, but if you click on any of them and you click this view quest rewards, you can see what you get. In this one, if you finish it, you get a dinky potion and a dinky alliance potion, and of course, if you fully explore it, at least you get a revive out of it. So, the rewards aren't exactly updated, right? But, um, <clears throat> is there any value in it? So, what I do in order to get anything out of this is I do run it at least for the revives. But what I do is I wait for the individual quests, the solo events here, to see if I can get one that is like a class combat one. So, like mutant combat, skill combat. So, then I can go through and run the quest, use all champions of that class, and at least get some... Uh, solo event rewards out of it. Now the solo event rewards generally um, look like this one here and you can get units, you can get potions, you can get uh, individual crystals out of it. So that's what I would do. That's my advice. Most of them can be solo, or not solo, but uh, auto fought, which is fine. You can just kind of run, <clears throat> excuse me, you can run it and multitask, which is fine. Um, and it doesn't cost you any energy, so technically it is, of course, worth it. Um, and of course, you get some experience if you still need experience of uh, leveling up your account to 60. And of course, you get gold for fighting those champions. So the answer to the question is, yeah, you should run them if you've got the time to do it on the side. Um, you should definitely auto-fight them. But if you want some advice on what to do to really get the most bang for your buck, wait for one of those solo quests so you can get more rewards out of it. Anyway, um, that's pretty much my take on it. The battles are easy. Do it if you have time and uh, try and match it up with an event. So I appreciate you guys watching. Talk to you next time. Bye.